Finding your images from your archives makes your photography life easier. Five tips on Exire Search to make that even a better experience. And by the way, Exire Search 2022 is in a good deal from their Cyber Week deal. But more about that later. Hi, it's Peter here. And before we get into the business, the required disclaimer. Exire has sent me this software way back when it was launched and I've made several videos about it, but they never told me to do these videos, nor have they said what to say in these videos. I just want to share this because I have found this software to be really, really useful if you have a lot of images in your archives and need to find them. And most of us do. Exire has two versions of this software. The one that I'm talking now is the Lightroom plugin called Search 2022. And they just launched a new version of their standalone software called Exire Photo. It's in version 2024. And I do have a video about the standalone version if you want to use that. If you don't have Lightroom Classic, then that one is a better software. They work basically the same way, except the other one works as a plugin. So you, you can't use it as a standalone software. So you need them both if you want to have them both. And especially I've been using it to find videos, oh, find videos, no, find my uh, images for my YouTube videos. And this is not a tutorial as a whole. I do have a playlist of videos about Exire software and I will link that in the description of this video. And I also will have it in the end screen. So after you watch this, you might want to see those if you get more interested in and seeing more in depth how the software actually works. But now to the first tip transferring keywords to the Lightroom database. I have a very bad habit of not adding keywords to my images, which I needed to do manually. But with Exire Search, it initializes the catalog and adds the keywords to its database. It doesn't transfer them automatically to Lightroom database, but you can do that by transferring the uh, the keywords to Lightroom, which makes it even faster to find when you have the keywords already there. And then you also have a better search in Lightroom too. So you have two options to search your images. This is a very, very handy way of adding keywords to Lightroom because I suspect that many of us are pretty lazy on that because it's, uh, it's the, let's say the most boring job as a photographer is to add keywords to your images. But with this Exire search, you can do it and add them to Lightroom also. Search similar images by color. As I already mentioned, there are several ways of finding your images and one is using color. Sometimes you need images that have different color tones or similar colors or you want to have to find any all the images that have blue, for example, and they're all red or yellow, whatever you are. And that, that is a really good way of searching the images and, and showing them by color. You might want to make a color-based images to your website, for example, make a gallery of, of all the images that have yellow or blue or whatever. And that's the good way of doing it. But there is also another interesting way to find colors. And that is an search by an example image. You can search similar images from your archive. If, if you find one image and then you know, I want to find some similar ones and then you can use this search. But you can also tap the color so you will have more options in color. You might have an image that is, you know, yellow and, and teal and then you get those images that are similar in the color tones in your archives and you might find something interesting. And I think this is a really cool way of, of searching your images. And it's not always only if, if you need something, but it's also fun way to search and look at your old images and go back to your archives and, and get inspired to finding different types of images that you might have forgotten that you have. A search by an external image. You can add a URL to the search and if you find an image online, you might find a similar images in your archives by adding the URL to the uh, box here and then it will find images that are quite similar to the one that you found online. And that's also a good way to, to look for images. If you want to send an image somewhere and they show you an example, that happens sometimes when people want images from me, clients, and they have a certain image in mind, they might have the image and this type of image. So then I might look into my archives and find if I already have one of those images. And that's also been very beneficial to me and made it really fast. This would be impossible to to just find the image by keywords, but having an image that resembles the image on something that's online 
can help you a lot. The quality of the searches. Before we continue with the Black Friday deal and the last tip, a few words about the quality of the searches. I know, yes, it's not perfect. And I've gotten some messages that say that it's no good because it's not perfect and it's useless. But that's totally the wrong approach. No AI is perfect. We know that. It's only there to help us, to make things faster. And if the searches are good enough, like I have found that XR shirts and XR photo can make searches that are good enough, I have found the images that I have needed. Sometimes it might miss an image, but who cares? It's so much faster and so much help for me at least finding the images that I need. So it doesn't have to be perfect to be really usable and good enough. And let's talk about the Black Friday deal before we get into the last tip. The list price of Search 2022 is, uh, let me check, 119, but they have had a deal and the price has been 89 euros slash dollars. Now during Cyber Week, the price is only 59 euros slash dollars, or not sure what the dollar price is because I only have the prices on euros, but the similar, similar price in dollars too. It's not a bad deal what it is. And as I said, I do have links to the Cyber Week deal. And as you know, affiliate links are links where I do get a commission if you use them and buy something, but you don't pay any extra. So it's a win-win situation. You get a good piece of software and at the same time you support my free content. So if you use them, very much appreciate it. And then to the last tip, saving collections and renaming them. The way Xire Sheds 2022 works is that when you make a search, it makes a collection out of the search. And what's a good thing about this is that you can rename the search. So if you want to go back to, let's see, like I have here, like leading lines or symmetry, I can go quickly back to those images without making a new search. It's kind of uh, stored and saved there. The only downside on this one is that it's not a smart collection. So if you add images, it won't add them automatically to this collection. That would be a great addition to that. But it doesn't work that way, or I, at least I haven't found it. If you have, then please let me know in the comments down below if you have found a way to make this a smart collection. And you know, this makes it even faster. You make the searches that you might make several times and then just rename it and use that as a search. It works really fast and is the fastest way to find images. And as I said at the beginning, I've been very happy about the software so far and I've been using the Lightroom plugin. I have tested the, the standalone version, the 2024 version when it was launched and there is a video about that if you want to watch that. And also the uh, other is the playlist of Xire, Sir, Xire search and photo software videos, more about what's or how they work and so more about tutorials. This was only the five tips about it. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.